No i witam w kolejnym. Idziemy z panem Fellowem. Ja sobie dam radę. No, idziemy. Tam, 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 tam. No, prowadź, prowadź. Miał wygodną poduszkę przynajmniej. Fresh. 
Muszę tutaj zorganizować sobie punkt wypadowy. Nie moja sprawa. Acadia is a nest of snakes. Beasts that subvert the will of Adam. Yeah, sir, sir. Yeah, whatever you say. Watch yourself, outsider. You walk through Adam's kingdom now. If you're done wasting time with a fanatic. Teraz. Up ahead, the air is clean. No fog. Katie has already been watching us for a good spell. If you want to talk with them, just go inside. They'll be waiting for you. You need my help again. You come see me. Got a cabin just outside of Far Harbor. Good place to tool up your gear, get some rest, or get stinking drunk. <laughs> just make sure if you're bringing a bottle of something strong, there's enough to share. I'm serious about the offer. You ever want to hunt the forests and waters of the island together? I could think of worse things to do. Dobra. Czyli e, ja tak naprawdę chcę zacząć od zrobienia sobie miejsca na wypady. I'm sorry, but I don't have time for this. There has to be someone you can spare to investigate. I have my hands full. You ain't on. You ain't long for this world. Buy my guns now. Food. Stim packs. Ah, oh, you there? Are you that detective I've heard about? I might be. Depends on what this is about. I haven't been able to find any of the local police force. The louts? I don't want to start a panic, but, well, we may have a murder on our hands and we need an outside set of eyes. Okay, I'll help. Oh, thank goodness. Shall I guide you to the Cliff's Edge Hotel now? Go ahead. I'll meet you there. Very good. I shall meet you at the main entrance to the hotel. Mm. Na północ. Tam. Gdzie masz warsztat? Moment. Moment, 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 moment. Ja się tak nie bawię. Na szczęście można wracać.
wish to enable this unit's personality subroutine. That's Poco. Sure. That would be great. Acknowledged. Personality subroutine activated. A pleasure to see you again, sir. Are you ready to depart? Duck. Time to hit the road. Understood. Please lead on. Czemu buduje takie szkaractwa? Bo są najlepsze. Czemu się tak przenoszę? Bo robię linię zaopatrzeniową. A chcę, żeby szedł stąd. Haha! To jest mój zaopatrzyciel. Tutaj. Będzie coś na drodze? On to jak się kurde rozkręci. Są tak samo jak ten, są identycznie zbudowane. Tak. That was all. All right. A nie. Hey. Yes. What did you need? I no longer require your services. I prefer to be by your side, but I'll abide by your command. Bez latary niaking spot. I teraz mogę jechać. Pam, 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 pam. Dobra, ja sobie zbuduję, zrobię cięcie. Zobaczycie efekt końcowy.
Okay. Mamy chałupkę, mamy zasiloną chałupkę. Uuu, ale oświetlenie jest chujowe. na ścianę kim kiecik o powinno być ok ale chujowy weźmy jeszcze jedną zwykłą żarówkę to jest śmieszne ale to jest chyba Najlepsze źródło światła w całej grze. Patrzcie jaka różnica. Dobra. Jeszcze tylko meble. Jakaś skrzynia na śmieci. Będę miał. Zobaczmy te te... E... Ok. Nie wiedziałem, że mam tyle żarcie przy tobie. Okej, okay, to już wiem, co to jest. Ciekawe. Dobra. Czyli tak jak mówiłem, mamy tutaj już stanowisko, wszystkie stanowiska. Wszystko, co mogę kiedykolwiek potrzebować. Mamy prąd. <śmiech> Czyli bierzemy pancerz i długa. Co 
to test. No jak już tutaj jestem... Od... think I'm nuts to be fishing in this dock. But one day, the big one will be mine. You'll see. For a shipment. A main lander like you stands no chance against the crawlers. I'll be straight with you. It's never easy to ask anyone on this island for help, much less a stranger. But I've got a responsibility to these people, and I have a job for you if you're up for it. Besides, you're a tougher than you look. Tell me the problem. We get our drinking water from a purifier not far outside of town. We had a bad storm not long before you got here, and it must have damaged the fog condensers that protect the road to the purifier. I sent Howard Dunbar out to fix them. He was out there when the mire lurks hit us, and I'm, I'm afraid they might have got him, too. I was hoping you might go have a look. If the worst happened, maybe you could get those fog condensers back online. If you're up to it, just head south out of town. It's paying work, of course. I wouldn't ask a stranger to stick their neck out on our behalf unless I was willing to pay a fair share for it. The fog condensers need their power modules replaced, but Howard took the only spares we had. Either way, you're going to have to find him first. All right, I'll head out there now. Good. Our water supply won't last much longer. Nie, najpierw pójdziemy do Arkady. Dobra, jesteśmy na miejscu. Wyskoczę, mam te charyzmatyczne ciuchy. Zawsze to jakaś może... Może trochę pomoże. When I first climbed this mountain, above the fog, I thought to myself, now here is a metaphor worth taking in. You've entered a place of clarity, understanding, peace. While you're here in Acadia, Synthkind welcomes you, as long as you welcome us. Zobaczmy well, sarkazm. In that case, I want a Nuka Cola, some stim packs, Kasumi Nakano returned to her family, and hmm, a pony. <laughs> I see. I'm afraid some of those things I'm not in a position to give. Kasumi is here. She's safe and unharmed, and you're free to see her if you'd like. Before you do, though, tell me, you think Kasumi is a sim? Uh, why are you asking? Because she came here with that very question. And the answer changes every part of her world. None of us take this transition lightly. She's facing the possibility of her entire life being a lie. That someone stripped her very identity from her and made her into something she isn't. I want you to understand that before you see her. She has a chance here to live as a synth, not hiding, not pretending to be something else. One more question, if you'll indulge me. You're here for Kasumi, but I suspect there could be another reason you came to us. Tell me, are you a synth? No, but if I squint real hard in the mirror, sometimes I look like someone else. <laughs> I'm afraid when I try that trick, nothing really changes. I know it might seem impossible that you could be a synth, but tell me, what's the first thing you can remember? Pum pum. I just... Oh. I'm not going to tell my life story to someone I barely know. Let's hear your answer first. I was in a laboratory. 
in the Institute. They were pulling pieces of my head out. Something about wanting to test some neural process. That was every day for months. Strapped down. Operated on. And then... I was out. The Institute has fail-safes to strip memories that could identify where they are, how to find them. But I do remember being quite... content. I was free. That is my earliest memory. Now, yours? I was with my wife. We were getting ready for the day. I had to take care of my boy, Sean. And, uh... <laughs> well, a lot's happened since then. But no memories before then? No childhood? <coughs> your first best friend? Your first... kiss? That's usually a sign. Data is easy to migrate, but feelings... That's a hard thing to transfer into another mind. Isn't it funny how a memory can feel like a whole different reality? People, places, even sounds and colors can change. Or someone else has changed them. I won't lie to you. There will always be other explanations. Trauma, disease, the background radiation. They all take their toll on the mind. But I can promise you that you will be accepted here. Whatever you decide is true for yourself. I've heard enough. Where's Kasumi Nakano? Of course. Kasumi is usually working down below. You can see her whenever you like. Acadia is open to you. Feel free to walk the grounds. Introduce yourself to my co-founders, Faraday and Chase. Did you need anything else before you go? I should get going. Of course. Perhaps we're in there a long time. Are you feeling all right? I'm fine. You worry too much. Sometimes I feel like you don't worry enough. You know we blew three more relays this week. I'm coming in. You stay right there. Hey there. So, you've talked to Dima. You know why we're here. I certainly hope that you'll consider helping us. Dima's vision is worth fighting for. Spock. So, you're a synth? I am. I hope that's not a problem for you. Dima has worked hard to create a place for us where we can be safe from those who don't accept us. He's put so much of himself into this. All his time and energy devoted to helping others. He never stops to think of himself. Sometimes I worry about... Well, if I wasn't here to make sure his equipment is all functional. And that's not even mentioning maintaining the fog condensers. There's so many things to keep track of. You do all this work yourself? Mostly, yes. I get help from the others when I can. But no one else really understands Dima the way I do. Can you tell me about the fog condensers? Oh, those? Dima and I designed them when it became clear the fog was only getting worse. They're effective, but have such a limited range. Dima insisted we provide them to the people of Far Harbor, and I'm so glad we did. Without the condensers, I'm not sure they'd have anywhere left. Dima looks like he's had a lot of work done. Well, that's certainly an understatement. Between the two of us, we've made so many modifications. He was just a prototype, never built for all this. It took a lot to overcome the limitations of the original design and expand his memory. It really is remarkable, isn't it? He's overcome so much. He's become so much more than he once was. And all he thinks of is others. Mm. If there's anything I can do to help out, just let me know. Well, if you're determined to help, there is something you could do. It's likely somewhat dangerous, though, so I understand if you'd rather not. There's a boat along the coast of the island. It was transporting some hardware we needed. Storage drives. 
The boat never finished the trip, you see. So the drives are still out there. I could really use them here, for extra parts, if nothing else. My understanding is that the boat wrecked southwest of here. So, does this sound like something you could handle? What happened to the boat? Why didn't it make it? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Trappers, fog crawlers, there's no end to what's out there. And what might still be out there. The point is that we already lost someone once. And I don't want to see that happen again. So, are you up for it? Sparkle. Sure thing, Faraday. I'll get the drives for you. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. You track Kasumi here. I'm impressed. Perhaps not as quietly or efficiently as possible. But thankfully, she was never in any real danger. I'm afraid your journey was unnecessary. So, you're saying you could have done a better job of it? Didn't know it was a competition? Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Acadia is a safe haven for synths. Were it not, I would not have aided anyone in reaching it. Every synth I've tracked down, every synth convinced to come here, has been assured that he or she will come to no harm. My job is to make sure they all remain safe, no matter what. Understand? How do you manage to track down synths and bring oh, them Oh, what you cover? have a network of contacts throughout the area. Some from my time with the Institute, some after. I know the Institute's tactics and use that to my advantage. You have Dima's blessing, so by all means, make yourself comfortable. So, what's your story? I used to be a courser, returning synths that had escaped from the Institute. I was tracking a synth and instead found Dima. He convinced me of the truth and the error of my ways. I rejected the Institute, made sure they couldn't track me, and dedicated my life to instead helping synths find freedom. Tell me about Acadia. Dima's told you most of what you need to know. It's as safe as we can make it for now. With every new synth we rescue, we're better able to defend ourselves. Well, I'd like to help you all. Is there anything I can do? Actually, as a matter of fact, there is. If you're serious about contributing, well, we've got a situation I need someone to look into. You've had some experience traveling around the island, so you may be decently equipped to handle it. What's the problem? We were expecting a new synth to arrive, and he should have been here by now. There's been no sign of him, and I'm concerned that he might have become lost on the way here. You have any leads on where he might be? You should start by talking to Brooks in Far Harbor. He's one of us, a synth. He's the one who meets the new arrivals and gets them started on the journey here. Of course, he's not likely to tell you anything without proof that you're working for me. If he doesn't cooperate, Tell him that his designation is L-792. That should convince him. That's as much help as I can give you for now. Please, hurry. If that synth is out there alone, he won't last long. Znaczy się na pewno już nie żyje. Thank you. 
<śmiech> Nie wiem do czego to może być ta skondensowana mgła, ale zabiorę. Dobrze dużo kleju. Chyba tego miałam mało. Pam, 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 pam. Kurde, ile jeszcze mam w Luka Wardzie do pierdzielenia. Kto ty? Mm, któryś działania. A na czym? Dima is secretly planning to destroy everything. 
I'll help if I can. But that's not much to go on. I know. I've been working on that, but I haven't had much luck. I keep seeing Dima, Faraday, and Chase head into the laboratory at the other end of the hall. Then they come out later looking like they've been arguing. There's actually a storage space right next to there. It'd be a perfect spot to hide an eavesdrop. But it's been locked up. <laughs> I've also been breaking into Faraday's terminal since he and Dima are so close, but the security on it is crazy. I'll figure this out. Just stay here. Okay. Good luck. And come back as soon as you've found anything. Nawet nie będę ten ten próbował, po prostu będę strzelał na pałę. Sweet. W końcu. Byłem za szybki. Jeszcze go podsłuchamy, a później nim pogadamy. Aha, czyli nie mogę go posłuchać. Czyli muszę iść po nim gadać, dobra. Dima. Yes. What is it? 
I know you left some of your memories behind in an old submarine base. That you're worried the children of Adam will get to them. You've been busy. I was hoping you were taking your time learning more about us. Huh. I suppose you have. Maybe this is an opportunity for both of us. I can't send any of my people without risking the children of Adam linking them back to Acadia. But you, you're new to the island. I'm picturing your memories as just one massive holotape that the children of Adam are using as a coffee table. I suppose that's your version of, yes, I'll help. Before I begin, how much do you know? Did you have any questions for me about Far Harbor, the children of Adam, or my memories? Pokolai. You left your memories behind? How does that work? As a prototype synth, my raw data capacity is limited. I began using computer banks to expand, to give me room to ponder, see new things. I had to leave some of my earliest memories behind when I left the sub base to the children of Adam. I thought they were safe. You're keeping Far Harbor safe, is that it? Not exactly. They're fiercely independent. But the fog was starting to choke more and more of the island. So I proposed a trade. We would give them the technology to keep the fog at bay. In return for them being a lifeline to the outside world. A safe dock. And a place to buy supplies. Unfortunately, the children of Adam view the radioactive fog as a holy portent. And their bloodied history with Far Harbor puts us at odds. The children of Adam on this island. You were helping them? Yes. I know their faith in radiation as a type of god is a bit... different. But who am I to judge? I was using a submarine base as a home when Martin and his followers stumbled inside. They had been cast out of Far Harbor for their beliefs. When I left to found Acadia, I knew the base would be in safe hands. They needed a home, a place to belong, just like I did. But now Martin is gone, and his successor, Tectus, wants to finally end the feud with Far Harbor by letting the fog swallow them. I know all I need to. Then my plan is simple. Pose as a recruit and infiltrate the children of Adam. Gain access to their base in the old command center Guarded by some pre-war security measures, you'll find my memory banks. I'll give you the program you need in order to access my memories. Bring me anything you find. It's not going to be like a normal hack. You'll be breaking through a version of my own mental network. It'll consider you to be an intruder. I've loaded the program with some instructions I've recorded that will help guide you through it. I'm afraid it's difficult to explain without seeing it for yourself. I'm gonna replace all your memories with pictures of cats. Meow. Well, I suppose that would certainly make remembering some of my darker hours more... fuzzy. In all seriousness, good luck. I understand the risks you're taking on our behalf. It's in all our best interest that you succeed. One more thing before you leave. Whatever you do, don't assault the children of Adam directly. Our ultimate goal must be to bring peace. If you attack them, they'll consider themselves at war with the outside world. I was having a hard enough time keeping up with repairs before all this nonsense with the Adam lunatics. all the world's problems certainly not all at once Dear turns out Dima's earliest memories are in the hands of the children of Adam he's afraid of what they're gonna find so is that what those death projections were about it wasn't Dima planning to destroy the island he's worried the children of Adam will or is he still hiding something what could be in those memories that he would leave them behind is there really something in them that's dangerous 
Do you have a way in? Into his memories? Assuming you can get past the children of Adam, of course. I got this program that Faraday and Dima wrote. It's supposed to help me access the memory banks. Really? How would that work? When I was taking a peek in the computers he has here, Dima was hooked up to his chair. I was just tapping into it. I wonder if you'll need to, you know, connect to the old banks the way he does? Some kind of connection between your head and the computer. Oh, but that's it. And then Faraday's program would be translating Dima's thoughts and data, helping you through any security guarding it. I'm sorry, I'm making assumptions. It's just, well, it's a little exciting, isn't it? You'll let me know what you find? I'll keep an eye on things here. If all I find in those memories is just a hundred years worth of Dima staring at a wall, I'm gonna be really annoyed. Well, if you did, that's almost good, right? That means they're harmless. Anyway, good luck. Uuu, prawie poziom. Dobra, już nie potrzebuję tego, a więc zakładamy normalne. Nie to. Cały ubrany. Lewa ręka, moment. Gdzie mam coś na lewą rękę? No tutaj. No. Wychodzę i kończę odcinek kolejny. Arkadia przeszukana. A my w następnym zajmiemy się tymi misjami pobocznymi, co nam przydzielili. No, będzie szybko. Chyba. W każdym razie widzimy się w kolejnym odcinku. Cześć.